uh, will start off the pole outside of him. Megan Singlis finished second in her heat yesterday. The 17-year-old from Canada will start in second in the 19. Inside row number two, who? Sheldon Hookworth in the 27 will start third. The X-22, Denzel Billings, outside of him. Had a problem in hot left. Turns out he accidentally bumped the fuel shut off. Uh, he had a more serious problem than that. On the inside of the next row, the B3, that is Steve Billings outside of him. That's his dad, Ryan Billings, in the yellow number three. Row four on the inside, and Obid on the tribute car. That is Tim Haggerty. And outside of him, current modified points leader Bob Johnson in the 56. Turns in a little bit of line up here. Next row back, the 53, multi-time winner Jason Powers outside of him, the B10. That is Paul Billings. Next row back is row six on the inside. Darrell Wilson to be Brandon Gregory, the young one. Outside of him, the two is John Stanley. Row seven on the inside, the 87 is Brian Mitz. First time with either club this year. The 20L is Steve Longo up from Pennsylvania. Row eight on the inside, the 03 is George Palmer. Outside of him, the 75 is Kenny Polite. He blew a motor yesterday in the heat race. Went back to Canada, changed it last night. Row eight on the inside, the nine, that is Scott Gauthier. Outside of him is the 20 of Tim McColeman, each of them multi-time winners. Row 10 on the inside, the 12 is Tim Charlotte. Outside of him is 16-year-old rookie Allie Elkins. Row 11 on the inside, the double zero is Darrell Wilson. Outside of him, the 42 is Pat Charlotte. Row number 12 on the inside, the 19X, that's Shane Billings. And also out there, the 88 of Brad Litzenberger. That's one of those old straight sixes. And I think he's out there. Yes, he is. And at the back of the pack, that three did not start in his qualifying heat. The number five is Chip Gondier driving the Charles Brett Lisa Hitchcock's car. 25 oh, cars slated to take the green in this 15 lap feature. And this is also a over show from last night. We'll be doing a complete redo a little bit later on. They'll do qualifying heats and, of course, a 15 lap feature again. And again, the modified chair cars are at the front of the field. The nostalgia cars start in row number nine. 15 laps will be the distance of this right here. Basically, to make this simple, these are steel bodies. An older modified chassis, either an open sports wheel or a crane engine, two barrel carburetors. You can run American Racer or Hoosier tires. No inner tin, no spoilers on those modified cars, so they don't act like vacuum cleaners sucking up the racetrack. So, uh, what I believe is, is a growing division here in the vintage modifieds combined. Dirt modified nostalgia tour with the Eastern Ontario Vintage and Stock Car Club, not equally uh, divided between the two clubs. Jim Olin is our flagger. He likes to roll the green down on the track. Old school styles. Barber leads them through the corners. Three wide. They're going to go for the number two spot as they work down the back straightaway for the first time. Barber in front. Billings, Hogwarts, and the 19 of Megan Siglich all battling for second position on the race track. Look at these cars. Thank you. 
Lieutenant Paul Billings, Billings, excuse me. He's from Stittsville, Ontario. 93 Troyer chassis is what's underneath that B10. And a 1974 Gremlin, one of three Gremlins that we have in the pit area. I can see why everybody used those Gremlin bodies back in the day. They really, you know, cool on uh, these modified frames. Place. And again, 
beautiful racetrack here today. There's not many places you can go daytime conditions like this to have it this smooth and this dust free. Great job by everybody on the track front. Of course, Mother Nature gave us a little extra track prep last night. Hoping she doesn't do the same today. Ten to go. Vintage feature. Green flag comes out. Here they go.
steps across the lot. Just moved up from the nostalgia division into the modified, so he's getting used to these newer style cars. And he's having a strong run out there, running in fifth. And a lot of you guys might recognize that car. I'm not sure how much what bit going on ran down here at K&M. It was a lot. Okay. So the look, he is a multi-time champion. You get a chance, those of you in the pits, We'll take a look at that 40 car. He's got a panel that's right behind where he sits in the car and it runs down all the championships every year, every track, up Ovid Dwarak. So, and of course we were in Cornwall last time out, so Joelle was there as the race director and I wonder how it must have looked like for him to see something looking very similar to his dad's old car out there. And that, that's the kind of thing that a lot of the, the teams are going through. Sure, some of them want their own look, uh, but others, you know, are, are, are tribute cars that are made to look um, in a certain way to honor the way that racing used to be. Back when every car had a junkyard, they weren't recycling centers yet. Where are they, Jeff? They were junkyards. Yeah, they had dogs and then they, they would rip your arm off if you got in there and tried to steal a junkyard. So every place had a junkyard and a sponsorship and a parts store. So they could go down and get oil and store plugs and the other things that they could need. Show up tonight. 